time for another Smash Review. This time we're drinking this one, which is um, GQM UX6 2H4YI2. This is made with Maris Otter, Vermont Ale Yeast and Mosaic. Now if I recall correctly, I believe Vermont Ale Yeast is the one that's used in New England IPAs, which may leave some hazing in this beer. Well, we'll soon see. But Mosaic, good stuff. Looking forward to trying this. So let's get in a glass. Oh, cracking about can of smoke in this one. There we go. Well, that is a well carbonated beer. An incredibly well carbonated beer. Maybe over carbonated? We'll soon see. It's very dark. Now I have heard that the Vermont yeast can turn um, beers very dark. I'm not sure what causes that though. I know it is one of the um, side effects of using Vermont. But I'm not sure what causes the darkness. I mean, if it's made with Maris Otter, I'm not sure Maris Otter would give that much darkness in a beer. So it could be the yeast that has caused that. I'm not sure, I'm not an expert on, on England IPAs and the Vermont Ale yeast, but apart from that, yes, lots of carbonation, quite murky, but we'd expect that from a high fluctuating yeast like the Vermont. Um, let's give it a smell and see what we can smell. Oh, I think that beer has the best aroma of all the Smash beers so far. Oh, that is super pleasant. So, like, it's just, it's tropical and mangoes and just, just mosaic goodness. Mosaic goodness all around. It smells divine. I hope it tastes as good as that smell. Let's dive it in. Try and get some of this foam. Oh, yes. Oh yes. That is a belting taste. It's the classic mosaic taste. It's the thing that makes mosaic such a wonderful hop to use. Um, just bags and bags of tropical fruit. It's got a slight kind of, I don't want to say bubblegum, because it's not bubblegum, but it tastes like a juicy fruit, um, chewing gum that you used to get. Um, it's very pleasant. It's very pleasant indeed. Tropical, mangoes, pineapple. And yeah, I want, I'd be interested to know if from the person who brewed this. So if you're watching this, uh, um, contact me in a private message. Let me know if you put your hops in for bio transformation. Uh, I believe that's when you put your dry hop in um, while it's still fermenting. So if you did do that, I'd be very interested to know because the hop flavour from this beer is magnificent. It is slightly overcarbonated. There's a little bit of um, too much, slightly too much effervescence on the tongue. Um, it can be quite good that level, but I think for this style, it's a little too much. Um, so you can see the head is retaining itself very well. The bubbles are still shooting up the side of this. I think it's just just a touch too much carbonation there. Um, yeah, so slightly too murky, slightly overcarbonated, but. Bags of delicious flavour and, and a very pleasant aroma indeed. Yes, very nice, very nice. Very pleasant, delicious. Could have been better. I'm waxing miracle about how good it tastes, but the beer's just not the taste. But it's very good, very well. And, and uh, yes, 
Actually, personally, please get in touch with me. I'd be very interested to know if you did biotransformation uh, with that. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. There'll be another smash-off review coming along very soon.